down in Texas, up in Idaho. And we can see just, uh, if we back up here, you can see right now Wisconsin's getting the pretty heavy rain, Michigan. And, you know, we're not talking about small amounts of rain. We're talking, you know, three inches every three hours. So you're, you're going to have a monsoon right over the Great Lakes. Northern California is getting hit with rain. So it looks like they're really trying to flood out the Great Lakes. I mean, they're already pretty flooded up there. You can see that tropical cyclone or tropical storm Arthur is just barely going to skim the edge of the Carolinas. But we'll take a look at that here in a minute. Let me go ahead and put this on the total. Let's go ahead and go to the 16-day forecast. Then we'll jump in <clears throat> to the Hurricane Arthur. Not Hurricane. It's not going to be a hurricane. But the mainstream, you know, they always hype up the first storm. There's so much wind shear that's going to be hitting this thing. I don't even know if it's going to reach the Carolinas, but we'll take a look. Anyway, here we go. We're going to go six hours at a time, and I'll stop if there's something we need to talk about, and we're just going to try to zoom through this. So like we said, right now you got heavy rain in Wisconsin going into Michigan, parts of Illinois, light rain over on the West Coast. And you can see right here it's just going to be kind of sticking around, which is weird because, you know, you got the wind shear that's coming off. This thing looks like it's going to develop into something, but it's not. So just heavy, heavy rain for Ohio, Indiana, Michigan. And we're going to get a little bit of pop-up storms down here over Florida. And then this thing's just going to be clipping the Carolinas. We got snow over in the mountains in California here on Monday, tomorrow. Now this looks like a strong, you know, line of storms there on the backside of the storm still in Michigan. We're also showing more signs of heavier snow in the mountains of California. And we got this wind machine blowing straight from the north, straight down south. You know, we're starting to get the pressure drop there on the storm, but it's going to get shot off from this system right here. The colder air is going to push this hot air right out of the way. And then just more rain. I mean, it's pretty much been raining everywhere for quite a while, except for down in the southern states on the west side. Still big wind event. So we're in Tuesday right now. We're just going to track that on out. So that thing's going to be moving pretty damn fast. It's going to be like in and out. High winds pushing that thing away. Another low pressure behind it. So if you didn't get, if you don't get a bunch of rain from Arthur, from the first system, then uh, you're going to get a little more rain back behind it as this thing slowly pushes through. A few thunderstorms up in Idaho, Montana. A little bit of snow. It's still snowing, and we're almost into summer. Still snowing over Wyoming and Montana, and we got a pretty crazy storm up in Alberta here on Thursday, May 21st, and then more severe storms for. North Carolina. We back that up one day. Yeah, it's actually going to start in South Carolina. This is Thursday, May 21st. And that thing's just going to track. It looks like the target is in the Carolinas for the next week. So you're being targeted with tons amount of rain over the next several days, all the way up into next Friday. And we got these little bitty storms down here, down where the, the wind farms are. And these things could produce, you know, some tornadoes, even though they look little on here. They could definitely pop off a tornado. This is going still in Friday, May 22nd. Just gotta, we gotta keep our eyes over here on the wind patterns for the start of the fire season. They'll be starting that up any day. And like we can see right here on Saturday, May 23rd, we got mega winds going all the way down into the Bajas. But I mean, whenever you see these tight bars, we're talking a lot of wind. Look, the storms are still in the same spot, cooking up from the ground base water generators. This is also home of the Texas Weather Modification Association. And of course, you got the big NOAA there in Oklahoma. So it could be a tornado day for the 23rd. Now, we should get a little bit of a break between the 23rd and 24th. Here we are on the 24th, but you got to pay attention. Here's these, this real tight wind pattern is still over here. Now, what's going to happen? Warm air is going to be coming up through the Gulf of Mexico, and we're going to fire. We can see tornadoes in North Dakota, South Dakota, <clears throat> parts of Nebraska. Uh, we're talking heavy downpours, hail, possible super large hail. Some of the biggest hail we've ever seen, eight-inch round hail, maybe up to nine, maybe, there in South Dakota. So they, they could get some, you know, biblical hell. So that's a pretty wicked little storm there on the 23rd going into the 24th. And the next severe weather day is going to start on the 25th next Monday. Not this Monday, but the Monday following. And it's going to extend all the way from Colorado all the way down into Oklahoma. And it looks like Oklahoma is the main target zone. But, I mean, we could have tornadoes all the way up into Wisconsin. You just never know nowadays with the way they're fabricating this stuff. More severe storms for Texas. And it actually gets worse. So on Tuesday, May 26th, you got just like a rain bomb parked over Texas. And it's going to slowly head to the Gulf. But, I mean, we're talking, you know, torrential amounts of rain. 
This is showing up over 10 to 12 inches of rain. So going on Monday, the 25th or the 26th, man, that's a, that'll be a day to watch. You don't want to be out on the road when the roads start flooding. More rain going in on Tuesday, the 26th. Just, it's just going to be a crappy two weeks as far as trying to get some sunshine to get everybody feeling better. So look at that. It's just like every day, every six hours, it's like raining somewhere, just spotty rainfall. And instead of moving off, this, this, this is just a weird signature. It's like this whole area just starts with spotty showers, but it don't move anywhere. It just grows. And it just kind of sticks around all the way into the 28th. Then you got another severe storm up in Canada. It's going to bring more rain up over the Great Lakes. Like they're just going to flood. They're going to flood the United States in half. That's what it looks like. So we got major flooding all through heavy, heavy rain all the way across Canada, right over Michigan, and then right down the Missouri River, Mississippi rivers. I swear, man, it's like they're trying to split this apart or they're trying to set off the new Madrid with just the sheer weight of the water. You got mega winds going across Canada here on the 29th. Now, this should be a chemtrail free day. All almost the whole southern part of the United States. We should get one clear day with no chemtrails, maybe two down in, you know, all the chemtrails will be being sprayed up in Canada through the Ohio Valley. This is on Friday the 29th. Going into the 30th, still still targeting over Michigan, Indiana, Ohio. Another possible day for severe tornadic weather through Colorado, Texas. I mean, sometimes they don't look that bad on here, but it's there. So these are really some weird weather patterns. And look, you got like a new development out there off the Bermuda. Some more heavy rain for the upper northeast. The upper northeast may not see the sun for quite a while. More severe weather day on May 31st. We, here comes the wind. This will be a good day to be watching for fires to pop off on May 31st. We're still on May 31st. More chances for tornadoes. So this is Sunday, two weeks from now. And then we'll go on into Monday. We can just see it slowly track. So June 1st. June 1st could be raining from Oklahoma all the way up to the Great Lakes again. The upper, upper northeast is just going to be getting pummeled with rain. So the patterns are not changing, man. It's like they're, they're just repeating themselves. And to me, this doesn't look like normal patterns for this time of year at all. In fact, they don't look like normal patterns at all. It looks like they're targeting certain areas. So here we are going into June 6th or June 2nd, heads up for Iowa, parts of Nebraska, and then down into Missouri. This is all on June 2nd. And that's far as we can go. So next Sunday, we'll be able to get into the July 4th. And while we're here, let's go ahead, check the, check the total amount of precipitation. I mean, this is what tells you where the target zones are. Look at all that moisture over the next two weeks. The only place not getting any moisture Southern Arizona, Southern California, Southern New Mexico, parts of Utah. Now let's go check our friends over in Europe. And usually what we do is just check out the total amount of precipitation. Then you can see the targets. So parts of Ireland, the North UK, Norway, down through Italy. So uh, looks like they got some pretty good flooding going on too. Let's go ahead and go check Australia. It's really the very southern part of Australia. And then the upper northeast looks like they're going to be getting pretty good amounts of rain. And it's even showing there is a, a tropical development out here that should be coming back towards Australia, but I'm just not real sure yet. So anyway, that's probably good on the 16 day. Let's go ahead and go take a look at Tropical Storm Arthur. And when you look at it like this, man, it don't look like a whole lot. But what's crazy, if you put some different the different tracks on here, let me change this so you guys can see it better. The strangest stuff. All right, so here it's showing it going to blast out. What you could do, you could look at the wind shear and see, man. As soon as it gets up here to the Carolinas, it's just going to get blasted with high shear, which is going to push it straight out. So it's just going to be like a little touch and go. And the other thing you look at is the dry air. The dry air is going to be hitting it. But what I notice is this crazy track that's showing this thing go up. And loop around and come all the way back. And, and earlier, it took it all the way up to the Great Lakes. I was like, what in the world? It's not doing it now. But yeah, that's pretty freaky right there. And I think that's all I wanted to look at on that. So yeah, it's pretty much going to be a nothing burger for this tropical storm. But if you're tuned into the mainstream, man, they're probably 
talking it all up. Let's go take a look at the Mimic map. We haven't looked at that in a while. And look at this monster cyclone over here. Right part. It's just sitting there spinning. It's sucking all the moisture out of the atmospheric river, pulling it into one single storm. Let's go look at that by itself, man. That's just, I've never seen that much water vapor being pulled into a cyclone, hurricane, typhoon, anything. Now, I don't know what kind of rainfall amounts, but this is probably going to be biblical when this thing hits the land. So the whole atmospheric river, look, it's just robbing any moisture that was over here. It's just sucking the whole thing in and spinning it up at one, two, and one biblical spitting storm here. It's a category four right now, but man, that thing is holding a lot of water. So that is just completely insane right there. Never seen nothing like that. That's insane. So we'll be taking a watch on that. And like I said, that thing's been spinning there for day after day after day. Now look at the, look at our little tropical storm here. I don't even have hardly any water vapor to work with. But boy, that thing right there, that is crazy. Look at that. It's like it's sucking all the water from everywhere all into this one point on the whole earth. You know, we're looking at the rivers of the sky. They use electromagnetics to steer this river. And right now, we're seeing everything being steered right up into China and parts of India. You think that's a weapon? You think that's natural right there? I would beg to differ. All right, let's go take a look at the worldview map. So, like I said, we got the demon in the clouds looking right at the West Coast. We got the bunker fuel operations that are back. After a two-week, three-week hiatus, they're back. We have chemtrails over Alaska. So we got heavy duty aerosols being deployed over Alaska and all throughout the Pacific. Let's see if we got any kind of steam. So no hot spots, no steam that we can see coming out of the big island right now. And that's the only uh, map we got right there. What is this? Oh, that's like a little itty bitty. That's probably one of the Atoll Islands. Or is that like the Galapagos? What is that island right there? Is that Easter Island or something? I think that's one of the Atoll Islands, but I can't tell if that's like a volcano smoke. We'll have to go back to yesterday's because that's the only layer I got. We have weather mods going on down in Argentina, all over South Argentina. And we also have bunker fuel operations off the coast of Chile. We can see them right here. Tons of ships out here. So we went from no ship tracks, no bunker fuel worldwide to all in one day off of the United States and off South America. We have new operations with the bunker fuel, the marine cloud brightening, releasing the most toxic emissions on the planet going on right now. You got heavy aerosols all over Canada. There's like no place not getting sprayed. This is where all the storms are trying to form. Yeah, heavy aerosols over North Dakota, South Dakota, little spot right over Denver that goes up into Wyoming. And of course, the spraying action from yesterday over LA that went right up in this very line. They're still spraying out here. And it looks like it's starting to turn into a system just from the aerosols that were deployed. Like they're still spraying really heavy. Let's check the layers on this. So it looks like they had stopped for a little bit. We got there's some fire right there to the west of Los Angeles. Here, I can post the... Uh, link there for the backup channel. There's still people trying to come into the main channel. It still hasn't never connected. I don't know what is going on. I'm just going to go ahead and turn that off because it's not working. Uh, every night, something different, some kind of new issue with the 